Hello? No, I can't. I'm busy right now. Well, Jane's tips has just started. I I'm telling you, I can't. Well, no, it's impossible. I'm sincerely sorry, but... Did you hear what I was saying? I was trying to explain to you that I couldn't and that I was busy. I have to hang up now. Excuse me about that. It was my boyfriend. We had an argument a few days ago and our relationship hasn't been very good these last few days. But, by the way, why don't we use that introduction to explain today's lesson? We could talk about direct and indirect speech, couldn't we? Moreover, I haven't prepared anything for today's lesson because of the current situation. I haven't been able to concentrate for the last few days. So this phone call comes just at the right time, doesn't it? But don't tell anybody, or I could get sacked. So, let's say a few words about direct and indirect speech, or more precisely, about how to transpose a sentence in direct speech into a sentence in indirect speech. If we have a look at the sentences I used, we can see that when the introductory verb is in the present, there's no change. I'm busy right now. I'm telling you I'm busy right now. Mais en fait, il peut y avoir des changements, surtout quand on rapporte les paroles d'une autre personne. Jim, I'm eating at the restaurant with my parents. Jim says he is eating at the restaurant with his parents. See, we can deduce from this example that the personal pronouns and possessive adjectives change, especially if those pronouns and adjectives are I, we, my, our, me, and us. But the possessive pronouns can change too. Sarah, it's not mine. Sarah says it's not hers. It's exactly the same with the reflexive pronouns. Tom and Ben, we hurt ourselves playing football. Tom and Ben say they hurt themselves playing football. Before going a bit further in this lesson, I'd like to ask you a little question. Maintenant, on a vu comment changer les phrases affirmatives et négatives. Regardons maintenant comment faire pour une question. I'm not teaching you anything by saying that in English, and in French too, there are two types of question. Yes, no questions, and WH questions. Let's look at the yes, no questions first. Vanessa, can you come and see me at six, Bill? Vanessa is asking Bill if he can come and see her at six. As you can see, there are two main changes, apart from those we have already seen so far. When the question starts with an auxiliary, you must use if when reporting someone else's speech. And second change, the sentence is now in the affirmative, even though it can be in the negative too, but never in the interrogative. Vanessa, can't you come and see me at six, Bill? Vanessa is asking Bill if he can't come and see her at six. Let's look at another example. Matt, does Mr. Black live in the neighbourhood? Matt wants to know if Mr. Black lives in the neighbourhood. I chose this example because, unlike the former one, Matt's question starts with the auxiliary do, or does to be more precise. And contrary to can, you cannot use do or did in affirmative sentences. So, while can, the other auxiliary, is used in indirect speech, do or did are not, unless the sentence is in the negative. Remember well this rule. Are you with me? Good. Let's focus now on WH questions. Hermione. Where did you hide my cauldron and my wand, Harry? Hermione wants to know where Harry hid her cauldron and her wand. Pretty easy, isn't it? What you do here is use the same interrogative word, where, 
and build a sentence in the affirmative, as in the previous example. Before making the lesson a little more difficult, I'd like to ask you another question. Well, let's tackle now the third part of our lesson, the last but not the least. We've seen so far how to manage when the introductory verb is in the present tense. But what do we do when the introductory verb is in the past? If this happens, and it will happen very often, you must remember everything that we've seen so far and change the tense of the verb in direct speech. This grid should be helpful. Memorise it well. That's why my sentence, I can't right now, was transformed into, I told you I couldn't. Other words may have to change. Yesterday becomes the day before. Today, that day. Tomorrow, the day after. Here, there. Now, then. Hello, Jane speaking. Oh. Yes, why not? Y yes, I'll be there. Bye. Um, it was my boyfriend. He said he was sorry and that it wouldn't happen again. And he asked me if I would meet him at eight tonight. But what were his own words? <sighs> I'm so happy now. I'm really looking forward to tonight. Well, goodbye for now and see you soon.